Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Fog is pretty thick outside our studios here in East Providence. It will remain fairly thick across a good portion of the area through the night. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. The rain from earlier in the day is gone, been replaced by that fog. Threat tracker for tonight up to that medium level now because of the fog out there, some of which will likely be dense, have that dense fog advisory in effect. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning, probably still at that medium level, but it will go down through the day. Monday, low chance of anything severe. Dense fog advisory all over Rhode Island. In southern Connecticut, all of southeastern Massachusetts. For the uh, thick fog, visibility is dropping to a quarter mile or less. Drive slowly and extra carefully overnight, especially in the dark. It can be uh, uh, especially difficult to drive when you have a uh, fog this thick. Visibility less than a, a, a half a mile across all of Rhode Island, except for Block Island, about a half mile in Taunton and New Bedford. Newport, not really seeing much in the way of fog out here just yet. Temperature at 63. Wind gusts up to 10 miles an hour earlier in the day. That'll be the story tomorrow. Winds will be picking up by this time tomorrow night. It could be quite windy. 63 degrees currently in Westport. Mild there. 61 Taunton. Mild in Providence. 59. Same for Smithfield. Satellite radar picture dry across all of New England. Our next weather makers out here. A cold front that's going to be sweeping into New England over the next 24, 36 hours. Let's see how it all plays out for us. Our future cast for the overnight hours calls for a a couple of sprinkles or brief showers. Now here we are through the day. Most of the day is going to be dry. Some breaks of sun out ahead of this cold front back in here. It's going to get pretty windy winds from the southwest tomorrow. Cold front pushes on through late tomorrow night. Could be a few showers associated with that and then we'll be drying out for Monday. Let's track the winds for tomorrow by one o'clock in the afternoon. We're looking at southwesterly winds gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Not too bad, but late in the afternoon we'll begin to see the gusts increase perhaps up to 30 miles an hour and 30 to 35 miles an hour by uh, tomorrow evening. I know that we could be seeing some small branches coming down. Maybe just a, a, a spotty power outage here and there. That's the way it looks right now. Now Sunday morning we'll have some areas of fog out there. Maybe a spot shower temperatures in the 60s getting into the low 70s by noontime. It's going to be pretty mild tomorrow and humid. Low 70s at the south coast, Charlestown and Narragansett, Providence area probably be between 70 and 75. Wind gusts 25 miles an hour by late in the afternoon. Southeastern Mass, Attleboro 74, Fall River 71, about 70 degrees or so in New Bedford. Out in the Bay Boaters, small craft advisory, winds could be gusting to 30 knots by late in the afternoon. Visibility obviously poor in fog, mainly in the morning. Seven day future cast, we dry out for Monday, looking okay, but cooler, 63 degrees or so in the afternoon hours with clouds early on giving way to sun. Now on uh, Tuesday, probably the chilliest day of the week, starting out around 40 at dawn, getting up into the upper 50s in the afternoon. And then we'll see the temperatures moderate as we go through the week, upper 60s to about 70 degrees. So we are looking at uh, some fog overnight, and then it gets windy later in the day tomorrow. Some cool starts there to the days. Is that time